delicious keto dinners. It's called tarragon turkey with leeks and if you're new to tarragon it goes fantastically with chicken and turkey. So you could if you don't have leftover turkey or you just prefer leftover chicken you can totally make this recipe with leftover chicken. You can also use deli sliced turkey or chicken if that's easier or if you get roasted chicken, pre-roasted chicken at the store that's already cut up into pieces, that's a thing too. So whether you're going to use leftover chicken or turkey that you've already roasted, or whether you buy it ready done, which will make this even quicker, it all tastes fabulous with tarragon. So I've got my leeks. I'm going to take off the the outer covering like so okay and then make sure all that is that outer there is gone and then I'm gonna chop my leeks but while I'm chopping my leeks I am going to heat my oil so we can get the pan and the oil heating up while we chop. Now, this recipe is a, a, a casserole style, so you totally do not have to have neat, cute, adorable leeks. So the goal here is to finely slice your leeks. As usual, if you know me at all, you'll know that there's no prizes for chopping fast, but there is a prize for coming to the end of this cooking process with all your digits attached and not bleeding. So, because this is a casserole style dish, the leeks are going to be cooked and, and you're not going to be able to see any shape by the end of it. So. They don't have to be super beautiful. You can also buy leeks that are already prepared and sliced. And so if you are super tight for time, that will also be a thing for you. I'm actually, while well, that's still heating, I'm going to pop my leeks in the casserole dish that I'm going to use just to get them out of the way so I can carry on chopping. So root off and then off we go. Now the recipe says two large leeks but there actually weren't any large leeks around when I went shopping so I instead used three smaller leeks and this is one of the recipes where an exact weight of leeks isn't going to make a huge difference you don't want to go crazy because you will end up without enough sauce but um, the amount of leeks doesn't have to be exact. So into my holding dish over here is my last leek. Roots off. You do want to get the slices as as even as possible. Um, not because of the way it looks, but so that they cook evenly 
written about the same time. So you do want to try and get them about the same thickness. Okay, so there are our leaks. I can see out of the corner of my eye that my oil is get in there, turn it up a bit just to heat that. Um, when the oil is hot, which will be any second now, a watched skillet of oil never heats. I just uh, butchered the saying. Okay, the heat has just started now, so I'm going to turn that down a touch and I'm going to put my leeks in. Of course, this is something that you could do in advance. You could prep. If you prep at the weekend, you can totally prep your leeks at the weekend and then keep them in the fridge in a covered container or in a Ziploc bag. Or you can buy leeks pre-prepared like this, in which case this whole process is a lot easier because you don't have to do the, the leek prep. So that makes it super fast. Heat the oil, chuck your leeks in. Now, um, you want to saute these leeks for about five minutes until they are softened. So you can do this faster if you want to stand here and stir them all the time. You can turn the heat up and stir, 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 stir. But because I have to still chop my turkey, I'm gonna let this cook over here while I do that. And I'm gonna come back and stir regularly to make sure that my leeks aren't catching and burning. So I'm just gonna make an even layer in the pan so that they cook evenly. And I'm going to come back over here and start getting my turkey ready. So here is my turkey. It's cooked. It came off a turkey that I roasted. And now I am just going to chop this down. Again, because this is a casserole style dish, the turkey does not have to be neat you're not going to see it you just want to get the pieces roughly the same size so that they heat through all at the same time and also it, it makes it a better eating experience if you have Pieces that are all about the same size. You don't suddenly want this massive lump of, of turkey or, or chicken in the middle of your casserole. So I'm just roughly chopping this, just trying to get them about the same size. just for a minute to stir that up. Of course if you buy roasted chopped chicken or turkey from the store you won't have to do the chopping piece so as soon as your leeks are softened you can just toss it straight in. If you choose to use deli sliced, that is just slicing that up into pieces very fast. I love turkey. It's one of my favorite proteins. It's, uh, I think turkey is very underrated.
And I think in the keto community, the low carb community, it's underrated because of course it's a land fowl, a land bird, so it's nowhere near as fatty as duck or goose. But of course you can always add fat, so if your protein, turkey or chicken or another lower fat protein is what you enjoy the taste of, you can always add more fat to bump up the fat in your finished dish. Just gonna give my leeks another stir here. going to slide that out of the way because I also have to uh, chop my mushrooms and get uh, those ready. So the way I slice mushrooms is I take the stalks out and I chop those separately just because I find it easier to do that. And again we're making a casserole style dish so no one's going to be able to see if your mushroom slicing was neat or not. So once again, we're just looking for similar thickness of our mushrooms so that it all cooks at approximately the same rate. So how I slice my mushrooms is I just slice them that way when it's for something like this and then slice them that way. However, you do you. you. Just trying to get them a roughly even thickness and size. Thumbs do not add flavour. So you totally can get your the rest of your ingredients prepped while your leeks are sauteing. Okay, so you'll see that my pieces of turkey are roughly the same size as my pieces of mushroom. The mushrooms, of course, will, will shrink down. So there's my turkey and my mushrooms ready. Now I am, I think I can feel these are soft, but you can also always test. Mm. So these are what you might call al dente. There's just a little bit of, they're soft, but they're not mush. So I'm going to turn my heat way down to low, and I'm going to add my chopped turkey or chicken if you've done that, and my mushrooms until they're warmed through. That's going to take about three minutes, which is just long enough to chop the last ingredient that needs chopping. But first I'm going to stir in the turkey and the mushrooms into our sautéed leeks. And I am just going to let that I'm going to give it a shake to make the 
the ingredients even so it will heat evenly. And then I'm going to come over here and I've got my fresh tarragon and I am going to... Wow, look at this fantastic tarragon. Oh my goodness. Why is it like a tarragon tree? Wow, okay. So we want a tablespoon. This is the biggest, fattest leaves of tarragon I've ever seen. So I'm just going to eyeball what I think is going to make us a tablespoon. Wow, it smells fantastic. I love tarragon. And then I'm just going to chop it down first. And then I'm going to switch to the other technique and I can which is the chef's knife, pivot on one end and then hold the point still and then move the knife around. Oh my goodness, this tarragon smells so, 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 so good. I love tarragon. You'll see how, how that chops down into not a lot. So do we have a tablespoon? No, we don't. We're going to have to do about the same amount again. So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to give our turkey, uh, mushrooms, and our leeks a stir. That will help to make sure that everything's getting warm. And also make sure that nothing is sticking or getting burnt. You'll see from this that a tablespoon of tarragon is actually quite a lot. It chops down into nothing. careful if you do this. Okay, so there now is my tablespoon of tarragon all ready. So, let me move this out of the way. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my delicious fresh tarragon and I am going to stir that in. I'm also going to stir in my Greek yogurt. Do not use fat free because it will curdle which will taste fine, but it will just look horrible. If you are like me and you tend to buy fat-free Greek yogurt and add your own fat in the form of heavy cream, because I find that uh, gets me the lowest carb count by doing that, then make sure that you measure out your mixed, your heavy cream and Greek yogurt together before you add it here because if you just add non-fat Greek yogurt it will curdle and it will look horrible and you'll be sad. So just mix that in, it will get hot very quickly and then that mixture goes
into your casserole. I've kind of picked a, a bit of a too big a casserole here. Oh, it doesn't really matter if you want it thicker or thinner. Okay, so your goes in there like that. And then you're simply going to get your parmesan. You're going to evenly spread your parmesan over the top. Obviously, if you use a smaller dish, you're going to have a deeper layer of parmesan. And if you use a, a bigger dish like I have, your parmesan will be thinner on the top. And then we have our pine nuts and we are going to also evenly scatter the pine nuts over the top. And the last stage of this is making a golden crunchy topping. So what you need to do at this point is you need to place this under a broiler or if you're outside of the United States, a grill. Um, the thing in the top of the oven, you're going to put this under a broiler or grill until the pine nuts turn golden brown. Do not walk away. This really can happen in a heartbeat. So have your broiler ready pop this underneath and just take a breath, do some deep breathing. It will only uh, take a few seconds. So just stand there when your cheese is melted and golden and your pine nuts are golden, you are done. And there is your super fast, super easy, super delicious tarragon turkey with leeks, which is another like instant keto dinner that is way faster than even heating up your pizza in the microwave and is a whole lot healthier. So enjoy!